Welcome back to another What The Hall sidebars. I still haven't figured this out. What I want to talk about in this sidebar is the Celine beauty. Am I gonna play my, my intro in these videos? Am I gonna have to come up with a new intro? God knows, we'll figure this out. At the time of this recording, six days ago, Celine had their fall, winter 24, 25 show. Celine is a cult brand. And now that you have Eddie Slaman there, who has also a cult following, I'm sure Celine is doing blockbuster business. I saw the images for the show. We're doing a literal 60s moment at this show. Cool, no problem. Problem. When I think of women's fashion in the 60s, immediately my mind goes to Mary Quant, who would have spearheaded the whole mini skirts, riding boots, that look. Very much like Paco, also very much of the 60s. When I was looking this up, it turns out that the show was actually a tribute to Richard Avedon, who of course, another icon of the 60s. His images, you know, when you see them, you know them. So the show is called La Collection de l'Arc de Triomphe, because we know that the L'Arc de Triomphe is a motif that they've really doubled down on. It's kind of fascinating how as Celine they've taken those really dated prints that Phoebe Philo never tapped into but as soon as Slaman shows up he taps into that old iconography. Celine has done the fragrance thing they have the Eau Perfumerie and that came out in 2019 in the copy on Instagram they said they will be coming out with a full collection of color makeup and so all the models were wearing Le Peau New which is one of 15 shades in Le Rouge Celine and the collection is going to include lip balms, mascaras, eyeliners, eye pencils, powder, nail polish, and blush cases. So maybe the blushes are going to be refillable. We've seen this exercise repeated time and time and time again. I'm curious to see who stands out and who's able to be in this for the long haul. Prada had skincare in the 90s. Now they have a full suite of color makeup since they've partnered with L'Oreal. Last year, Paco Urban dropped the Paco. They did the H&M collection. They came out with the color makeup with Diane Kendall, which I talked about. Now, now, Celine, in my mind, this is going to be a real blockbuster collection. The lighting situation is changing. We just got to roll with it because after this, I'm done. Not all of these brands are going to make it. There was a time when Mugler had a range of makeup, gone. Versace used to have makeup. Who will be the next Christian Dior or the next Tom Ford in the makeup space? Everyone and their granny can buy a $50 lipstick. Whereas the Celine baseball caps and the logo t-shirts, you know, they're probably like 1K. Just looking at the images, the fact that things are fluted and have that texture and have that sort of antique gold, the black, it looks very enticing. It looks very luxurious. I feel like it's gonna speak to the Tom Ford customers. It's very smart that they're coming out with just the color and the add-on products that are gonna be pretty universal. The sun is behind several high rises. That is my cue to shut it down. Thumbs up, thumbs down, however this video moved you. Questions, comments, concerns, you know what to do. This is not a new platform. Thank you for listening. Thank me for speaking. And I will catch you in the next one. Adios.